Alistair, thank you. Now, here's a question. Do you consider yourself confident? Nothing can stop you in your tracks? Or do you shy away from blowing your own trumpet and soldier on for years without being noticed by your bosses? Well, our next guest has been looking closely at the issue of confidence and competence for her book published this week. It's called The Con Job. And she says that particularly in times of uncertainty, which we are in now, of course, it is vital to value competent people who have the courage to go against the grain and have a sense of humility in their self-awareness and challenge what leaders would like us to believe above and beyond the confident people. Are you still with me? Let's talk to Dr. Suzanne Doyle Morris, who is joining us to unpick all of this. Welcome to the programme. Good morning, Claire. Thanks for having me. And that was quite it's a gr- mouthful right there. <laughs> it's quite a mouthful. So let's, <laughs> so let's simplify it. I love the yes. prologue. In the prologue to your book, you say, in times of unprecedented mm-hmm. crisis, unfortunately, too many countries are led by those who would still believe a confident approach will win this battle. Uh, you are talking about COVID-19. I Confidence am. in these times. Many people would say, yes, you want a confident leader. Where are the flaws in that? Okay, so thank you so much. So essentially, that prologue was interesting because that only came up. Obviously, it's a prologue after I'd written the book that we entered COVID. I've been working on the book for several years. And suddenly, we're in this COVID station, COVID COVID place where global leaders are really kind of thinking they'll wing it, they'll get through this, it's, you know, it's not going to affect them. And what's really galling to me is then, when all of that didn't work, we are now reliant on the most competent people in society to clean up the mess. That is our key workers, our healthcare workers, our teachers, delivery drivers, the people, let's be very honest, we never applaud for bravado or the fact that they're winging it. (laughs) And so, you know, that it felt even more timely when I was about to publish it. But you've got this confluence, haven't you, between the Mm -hmm. maybe some countries, the leaders who have the confidence and the bravado Mm -hmm. and the ones that are competent, the scientists, as you say, all of those key workers you've just mentioned who are actually doing the day to day grind of trying to find a, a vaccine for this horrible virus, trying to treat the people who have it. As well, this line Mm. also jumped out at me. Competence is how good you are at something. Confidence is how good you think you are. But there's little (laughs) overlap between the two. So why are you actually saying it's quite dangerous to have people at the head of all of this? Yes. Who think they are in charge when they really aren't. Yes, exactly. So I think that's what made it feel really timely or one of the things that made it feel very timely. But I've been doing this work for nearly 20 years. And historically, I've gone into companies. So I, I help companies diversify their top talent teams. And what was so interesting to me when I first started this work is I would go in to, let's see, say a, a team of partners and, I, and they would say, we need more women partners. And I would say, well, what do you think some of the issues are? And I would routinely hear from usually a table full of mostly men. Well, we just, you know, we think the women are great, uh, but, you know, we just, maybe they're just not very confident. And what was so interesting for me is when I unpicked that with the women that they wanted to become partners, the truth was the women were confident in their day-to-day job. They weren't confident in the organization as a whole, meaning they didn't trust that they would get but ahead. But equally, yeah, because it's interesting because of the derivation of the word mm. confidence it was, was, is, is Latin, isn't it? You point out in the it book is. as well from the 15th century, meaning <laughs> trust, not yes. meaning a confidence sort of con job that you're talking yeah. about. It was never so it's something also, you could show people. You couldn't no, show it was, confidence just something, to other people. Yeah. It was something that you, yeah, people admired in you. They trusted mm-hmm. in you. Mm-hmm. So what do we do then? Because you're talking about these managers as well. And I, I, I appreciate you're not just talking about women in this book. You're talking about all no. kinds of people in the workplace and, and how they feel maybe they're discriminated against, whether, you know, they're from ethnic minorities, whether they're mm-hmm. you know disabled, whatever mm-hmm. they are, because the managers mm-hmm. hire in their own image. And if they are coming across as, quotes, confident, Mm -hmm. and you aren't reflecting that back at them, they won't see you as competent. So how do we change that? Okay, so I think there's a couple things we need to do. And part of what helped me see this more widely from the gender background that I have. So my PhD at Cambridge looked at the experiences of women in male-dominated fields. And I got to be honest, that was the lens at which I'd attacked this. However, the more I talked to people 
not in those backgrounds, the more I realized, actually, this goes far wider. This doesn't work for all men, but it also doesn't work for people from other cultures. I mean, in the end, I interviewed 40 people, 40 leaders from nearly a dozen countries in every continent, actually. And what was so interesting is how differently they all viewed confidence. And I thought, we've gotten to this kind of Western-centric view of what confidence should be, which is showy. And But actually, that's not even what the real, you know, what the modern workforce needs. So what we hmm. need to do are a couple things. We need to essentially recognize how our current definitions reward what I call, and you may have seen in the book, the status quo. That is the kind of people who are leading companies now. They tend to be white, male, <laughs> heteronormative, able-bodied, yeah. um, and people So we need to change behind. that. What else, briefly? Okay, we also need to recognize the converse relationship between uh, confidence and competence, which is that the more confident you become, research shows, the less you actually worry about being very good at your job because you, you've you got this. You can blag it. Mm. You can wing it. And that w yes. should worry people. <laughs> okay, be less and showy and more knowy, I think I can sum this story up as. Dr. Suzanne Doyle-Morris, thank you for joining us. Uh, a book, The Con Job, is out now.